good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. Great that Matthias is speaking out about this disease. And with me in the studio to talk about HIV AIDS is Dr. Keikevus Ariste. He heads the Infectious Medicine Department at the Auguste Victoria Hospital here in Berlin. Welcome Hello. to the show. Hello. Just briefly in the start, what's the difference between HIV and AIDS? When you are HIV positive, then you are just infected from the virus. And if you have AIDS, you have several diseases. When the CD4 system, the immune system, going weak, then you get diseases it, uh, related to the interior life you are living in. Asia is different from Europe or Africa. So those are the marker disease that shows that, that, that you're going into AIDS. Yeah, there are marker disease and also other diseases like cancer and lymphoma. These are the diseases which cause then the disease AIDS. Mm. And if people don't have full-blown AIDS but are just HIV infected, do they have any symptoms? They can start with the infection, then they have uh, lymph nodes swelling, they can have uh, night sweat, they have fungus on, uh, on in the stomach, then they have to go to the doctor. And when the systems, when the symptoms are longer than three or six weeks, they have to go to the doctor. And they go to the doctor and then they go through a test? They have um, to do the test and the doctor has to do the test and this is the only way to make you sure if you are HIV infected, yes or no. And there are some certain home test kits. You can just go into a pharmacy and buy those kind of test kits and do the test by yourself in the comfort of your own home. Is that a good thing? It's related to what you want to do with the test. And if you want to have, of course, not only the test, but also the care after the test, mm. negative or positive, so you have n nobody to talk about. And I think it's the most important thing after the test, positive or negative, to, to, to talk and make some solutions. Mm -hmm. Uh, medicine gone a big distance over the last years. We got a wi wide range of antiviral drugs available. How do they work? They, um, uh, they, they stop the production of HIV virus within the cell. And this is the revolution itself because when I on the medical school, there was no antivirus medication at all. And this is, I think, the big revolution. Mm -hmm. So you give it to the infected patients, even if they don't have AIDS, even if they're still HIV positive? This is a new thing to give the drug before you're getting AIDS. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the uh, level of CD4 cells are still rising. So in, in the guidelines, you can treat patient above 500, which is double to the level when AIDS occur. And the World Health Organization suggests that you can even give those pills to non-infective people um, if they're going through some, you know, say, sexual exercise or say, sexual adventures. So just like a condom, uh, how do, you do they use this? This, uh, this drugs works when you are taking them. This is this is a problem. You have to take more than one day before. You have to rise up the level. Then they are working, but it's not so easy because of compliance. So there is no solution, and they are still. A very expensive drugs. And if you've got a patient who is HIV positive and he's on the drugs, is he still infectious to other people? When he is uh, below detection level of 40 or 30, <coughs> uh, then he is not uh, infected anymore when this occurs more than six months and when the sexual intercourse goes with a normal partner. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the second big revolution that if you are uh, on drugs, then you are safe. Mm -hmm. Getting back to catching <coughs> HIV, there's a lot of uncertainty still um, uh, over the world. Um, we got a viewer question from Sharon Okovmo, is, she's a nurse in Ghana, and she asked whether HIV can be transmitted by mosquitoes. Yeah, n luckily, no. This is very sure, and luckily there is no. Otherwise, all the humanity will be we'll disappearing right now. Yeah, the donor in that case we just saw was immune to HIV. How often does this happen? It's very rare. It's below 0.5 percent uh, in the whole uh, humanity, and um, this was the trick to transplant this uh, because uh, this was a good idea the first time, which was happened in, in the whole world. But 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 could a bone marrow transplant cure HIV sometime in the future? Is this a new approach? 
it's not a good idea to do it with a bone marrow transplantation because the lethality is very high and it's a very, very hard way. Mm, okay. I mean, the best thing would be just to have some vaccine against HIV. You could just do vaccinations all over the world. Why is it so difficult to develop vaccines? Yeah, the, the vaccination development is still not very happy. Um, the problem is the variation is very, very fast from the virus. And of course, we don't have any model in Mother Nature to vaccinate or to have immunity against this uh, virus. So it's not very successful. So still antiviral treatment is the basis. We just treat the patients. But one problem with this drug treatment is that the virus itself can get resistant to the drugs. So it, the drugs don't work any longer. And um, how can this be avoided? You have to take the, the drug very clear and on the point every 12 or 24 hours within one hour, which is very, very complicated, And but you have to do it. Otherwise, the level of the drug is below the should have and the virus still is uh, um, replicated. Yeah, and if, if you don't have any vaccines but you do have the drugs, you, you could use the drugs in something like a post-exposure treatment. So um, after you get infected, before yeah. the infection occurs, you just take the drugs. How does this work? Yes. Um, we, we, we uh, avoid the settling of the virus into the uh, genome of the host cell and this is uh, down by the normal uh, drugs we use for the treatment of HIV and we do it for four weeks. And this is help in, in a bad situation, even in an intersexual course or uh, in a medical situation. So if you stick yourself with a needle, you better go and see your doctor and ask for a post-exposure treatment then? Yeah. Okay. The UN wants to get AIDS under control within the next 15 years. Is that possible? I hope so, because uh, I think it's, it's not only a matter of, uh, of money, but it's a matter of political will. And this has to be raised up and everyone has the right to be treated in the whole world. So there are still clinical trials going on to see how to treat AIDS and to, to treat HIV to, to get to, through this goal. So would you recommend patients to take part in clinical trials? Of course, because this is the guarantee of progress and we need progress. And um, I think when you do it in a safe situation, there's no reason to, to stop uh, or to don't do it. Thanks so much for being with us in the studio. Thank you. Thank you.